A phantom load, also known as standby power, is the electricity consumed by appliances and devices when they are not in active use. For example, if you're listening to music through your home stereo setup and the consumption is 80 watts, that is the active load. When the stereo is off and it's still consuming 5 watts of power, that's the phantom load. Here are some examples of devices that typically have a phantom load. Televisions, surround sound systems, stereo equipment, and gaming consoles. Computers, printers, monitors, and some powered PC speakers. Cordless landline phones, cell phone chargers, and battery chargers. Cable modem, 8.62 W. Wireless phone, 4.89 W. Microwave with clock, 4.9 W. Phantom loads can add up to significant spending over the course of a year. Therefore, identifying and eliminating unnecessary phantom loads can be beneficial for both the environment and your wallet. There are two main ways to measure the phantom load of your devices. One, online lookup. You can look up the power usage of your appliance online. Many manufacturers list power consumption details in the product specifications. 2. Power consumption meter. You can measure the power usage directly using a plug in power consumption meter, such as the Pony or P3 International. These devices can give you a real-time reading of how much electricity your appliances are using, even when they're turned off. Remember, the goal is to identify devices that consume power even when they're not in use. Once you've identified these devices, you can take steps to reduce their phantom loads, such as unplugging them when not in use or using power strips with switches to cut off power completely. Appliances have a phantom load for several reasons. 1. Quick Start Phantom loads allow for instant on functionality in appliances and devices that require a warm-up period. For example, a tube TV took several seconds to warm up fully and display the picture clearly, so manufacturers designed the tubes to stay in a sort of pre-warmed state so when you flipped the TV, it didn't feel like you were waiting for a heater to warm up. 2. Remote Control Remote control devices such as televisions, stereos, and such, have a phantom load to keep, at minimum, the IR or Bluetooth receiver active so that you can turn them on remotely. Without that phantom load, you would have to turn the device on with a switch on the device itself before the remote would function. 3. Smart Devices If you have smart devices like smart plugs or smart bulbs, they have to draw a small amount of power to be ready to respond to commands. 4. Voice-Activated Devices Voice-Activated devices continuously draw electricity in order to listen for your voice commands. 5. Standby Mode Any device that is placed into standby mode instead of turning off completely will continue to pull electricity from the grid, even when not actually operating. These can include computer monitors, printers, TVs, or cable systems. While the energy used for keeping these appliances plugged in is minimal, it can add up over time and end up costing you money on your electric bill. Question is how much do phantom loads cost? Determining how much phantom loads cost you depends upon a few key factors. The cost of electricity in your area. How many devices you have that are sources of phantom loads? How much electricity your appliances pull when off, and whether you leave these devices plugged in at all times. For instance, say you leave your laptop computer charger plugged in all day, every day of the year. That charger pulls an average of 4.42 watts of power even when it's not actively charging your computer, meaning that the charger will use nearly 40 kilowatt hours of electricity every year. If your electricity costs 15 cents per kilowatt hour, you would add $6 to your annual electric bill. While $6 does not sound like much, consider that the dollar impact is just from leaving a single charger plugged in all year round. When you add in the phantom loads coming from TVs, computer monitors, cable modems, and more, you could end up with a large enough phantom load to effectively add an additional monthly electricity bill every single year. Effective ways to reduce your phantom load 1. Use smart strips or power bars, plug all your related electronics, like your TV and DVD player, satellite TV box, computer, modem and printer, into a single power bar, 
then switch them all off at once from the power bar when you're not using them. 2. Identify the prime sources of phantom loads. Some electronic devices, especially those which have remote control and digital displays, use more energy when switched off than others one. Inexpensive home power meters, such as the kilowatt, will identify which electronic devices are the biggest energy drains when switched off. 3. Unplug charged electronic devices. Unplug your cell phone, camera and any other chargers as soon as the battery is fully charged. 4. Use sleep mode instead of a screensaver. If you're leaving your workstation for more than a few minutes, enable the power save or sleep mode on your computer. 5. Buy electronics and appliances with the Energy Star label. If you're in the market for a new TV or other electronic device, look for one with the Energy Star label. They use up to 50% less energy than less efficient models, while providing the same performance. By eliminating phantom loads in the home and office, you can save up to 10% on your energy bills. Easy steps to get rid of phantom loads. The first step to reducing your exposure to phantom loads is to identify appliances and devices in your house that continue pulling electricity from the grid even when nominally off. A quick look through your house for appliances that only have standby mode is a great place to start. From there, researching the passive electricity consumption of your appliances online will inform you which are the worst offenders. Once you've identified your sources of phantom loads, you can group them together on a smart strip slash power bar. These extension cords will either automatically shut off energy to plugged in devices that are only pulling a passive load or will have a switch to allow you to manually turn off electricity to all plugged in devices at once preventing them all from continuing to suck energy from the grid. At the end of the day, though, the best way to ensure that an appliance or device isn't a source of phantom loads is to unplug it altogether. It can't pull electricity from the grid if it's not plugged into an outlet after all. The Disadvantages of Phantom Loads All the advantages we just discussed focus on user comfort and ease of use. Naturally, the disadvantages center around excess power consumption. Historically, phantom loads were a much bigger problem than they are today. There was no real pressure to design devices with non-existent or very small phantom loads. It wasn't unusual to find devices in your home with phantom loads over 10 watts for trivial things like maintaining the clock and settings on a VCR. Shockingly, before initiatives like Energy Star and the 1 Watt initiative, Standby energy use accounted for over 10% of residential power consumption. As a result of such initiatives, the standby power demand of many electronic devices has plummeted in recent years. Many devices that previously consumed as much energy as a small light bulb while sitting there idle now only consume a few watts or even half a watt or less. Ironically, however, while individual devices are becoming more efficient in standby, we also have many more devices than we used to in our homes. So replacing an older device that consumes 10 watts in standby with a device that consumes only 1 watt is good. What devices cause phantom load? Anything with a remote control. These appliances use electricity 24-7, even if it's not always at full power. Appliances or devices with clocks. Do you really need a clock on every device or appliance in your home? The clock is the only reason they consume electricity that they use day and night. Wall wart devices. If it's plugged into a wall wart, it probably is losing the phantom load. This includes telephones, fax machines, calculators, hair dryers, and some kitchen appliances. Some typical offenders include cable boxes, Internet modems, DVRs and VCRs, answering machines, faxes and printers, rechargeable battery charges, remote controls, clock radios, computers and laptops, coffee makers, televisions, microwaves. How to get rid of phantom load. 1. Turn off everything if you're not using it. To make this easier, put your appliances and devices on power strips so you can turn off several at a time. 2. 
Unplug your microwave, coffee maker, and other kitchen appliances. Set your computer and laptop on sleep mode or shut them down. 3. Add smart power strips. As their name indicates, these strips turn off appliances that aren't being used. They also have the ability to maintain power to devices that need to stay powered on. They're fully customizable to fit your lifestyle and energy needs. Ask a Sesco's electrician about how to find and install these smart strips. 4. If you go out of town, turn off and unplug everything while you are gone. 5. Conduct an energy audit. If you have a lot of appliances and devices running all the time, at the same time, you probably are losing a lot of phantom loads. Have a Sesco's electrician come out and test your appliances to see which ones are the worst offenders. 6. Always unplug chargers once your phone, tablet or other device is fully charged. Also, unplug the device itself. Places in your home where phantom loads may be lurking. Phone and other portable device chargers constantly draw some power. Devices with digital clocks. Entertainment devices, like TVs, DVRs, VCRs, Blu-rays, CD players, radios. Office equipment such as computers, computer displays, printers, scanners, fax machines, copiers. Digital picture frames, projectors. Personal electric heaters. Desktop and floor lamps. Coffee makers. Toaster ovens. Check and unplug any equipment or appliances that are not in use turning off may not be enough. Some appliances draw phantom loads, even when off or use a power strip and switch the entire strip off to cut all power to the appliance. There are even power strips that allow you to turn off most of your electronics while leaving others on. Advanced power strips. When you reduce your phantom load, you save money every day because you've reduced the minimum level of energy base load your home uses every day. But what if you regularly forget to turn off your power strips? Then you're not getting rid of your phantom load, right? Consider purchasing an advanced power strip. These smart power strips cost more than the regular ones, but they shut off automatically 